Hi and welcome back to Bike Speeds. So this week we're dealing with this DeRosa road bike on this lovely Altegra Di2 group set. Now this bike, I know this customer hasn't had this bike long and I can tell from the bike he's done not an awful lot of mileage on it yet. So it's a fairly new bike but we're going to give this a service through and it's really sort of a testament as to why an early service on a, on a new bike is well worth getting them done because you can actually find odd little problems that can really make a difference to the bike moving forwards as you as you put your mileage onto it so there's not an awful lot to clean on this bike because let's say it's fairly new but you can see here that the cassette is caked in oil and the jockey wheels and the chain set and the chain you know he's, he's oiled the bike as, as you would with a service like this i can sort of clean up the main components of the bike without actually stripping the bike down so this isn't a full detail service it's not priced accordingly it's just a regular routine service so we're going to strip down the bike we're going to put everything into our ultrasonic cleaner we use a, a nice degreaser that we pour into this and then all the components that we feel need cleaning go into this bath and they're agitated at ultrasonic wave level and that really draws out the dirt and releases all the oils and the greases and everything that's left on the components. So you can see here we've got fresh degreaser in here this week to show you. And you can see how that cloud of oil and everything is lifted off of those components with the ultrasonic waves. It's a great cleaner for that and that's why we use it. We've got a couple of those in the shop but that's this one on the that we use is the main one on the videos that we use. So once everything's been through the ultrasonic cleaner, I mean we're literally on this bike we're just doing the cassette and the chain. So they go through there, we then wash them down, make sure that all the debris is off because then as, as he continues to oil his chain moving forwards, you just get that sort of similar regular build up. You're not then going to build up the, the dirt and the debris off the road that then combines that to a paste that will then wear your chain and your group set and everything else. So, you know, having it regularly serviced, getting it regularly degreased like this, you can move forward with, with your own lubricating regime without having a detrimental effect on your bike so you can see what difference we've made to this chain how much cleaner that is so that's not going to pick up little bits of dirt and little bits of dust and little bits of sand and everything to gradually wear that way far quicker this is again is why it's important to have an early service on your bike it's very very prone for these through axles to seize inside the wheel hub itself i've all you know i've had to extract several of these over the sort of as as they're becoming more popular on bikes I always lubricate those and, and then you can see I'm just cleaning up the brakes now, just keeping the pads fresh because you, you get that, especially oil that's already been on this chain, it gradually moves outwards with centrifugal force and can end up on your brake pads. And you can see that top one there, how there's a little groove and damage on that pad surface by cleaning them up regularly and just giving them a little skim and cleaning everything up as we're doing now. You just make sure that bike moving forward towards the winter, I mean we're, we're in the thicker summer here now in the UK. You know this bike's going to be used in the next few months it's going to move towards winter so you know just by keeping everything freshly cleaned and routinely serviced like this you know that as you go through the winter and you you know you continue oiling the bike and, and using it that everything's just as it should be just the subtle differences that a service like this make to a bike it's just those subtle finessing of the bike that makes the world a difference to how it will ride moving forward through the winter so you can see i'm just cleaning up everything I'm just using a degrease spray degreaser just to clean off the components, wiping them down, washing them down, microfiber towels so they, you know, they draw off the dirts and clean. You can see a little bit of cleaning going on there. So we're just cleaning up all the components, washing down the frame. And again, like I say, this is an early service, so you'd say, well, you know, the bike's spotless, why would you need to? But as you'll discover in a second, you know, you just sort of find things along the way. It's just a tactile way of being with the bike. But I just like to do this with, with customers' bikes when I'm servicing because I can spot things, you know, just by going through a bike cleaning, your, your, your hands are going over each of the, the frame components and you're just spotting things. So again, on this hub here, there's actually no manufacturer's grease on there. That's just a little bit of oil that's sort of come through as I've been cleaning it up. The centrifugal force of all that oil in has, has moved out onto the brake, it's onto, sorry, onto the rim itself. So that had quite an oil debris, which we clean off. It just keeps everything nice, good housekeeping on the bike. You'll enjoy the bike more. It makes my job easier each time if I keep it clean and you know prepare the, the surfaces and things. And, and then we just clean off the discs. So I'm just using the brake cleaner on here. There wasn't much wrong with that disc. It wasn't squealing. The rear disc was a little bit warped, which is one of the reasons why the bike was with us, which we did deal with, which we actually dealt with off camera. You can see a little bit of grease onto where the cassette 
goes on, that will stop your dissimilar metals, which means if this bike gets wet, you're not going to get that corrosion forming on that surface. And you know, when it comes to servicing it next time, it makes my job easier. It makes the longevity of the bike easier. And again, when I was washing down, just notice there's a hole on this frame where it's designed for front derailleur cable if you're not on DI2. But that there, there's a sort of a central groove down that frame part there, down the seat tube and all the mud washes down there straight through that hole fills up the bottom bracket so we just put a little bit of vinyl detailing over that hole just to stop the debris working down into the bottom bracket and again that's that thread that i just greased there it's very very common for those to seize and the sooner you can catch that and put a little bit of anti-seize grease on there the absolute better with the with those calipers because again they do seize and i've seen no end of those where you cannot remove that pivot bolt we always grease that so now we know we've got all the brakes back together we just loosen them off there to adjust them so we just pull the brake a few times and tighten that up in this so the disc is central to the caliper like i say this one had a little bit of a rubbing issue on the rear which i think we resolved and that was one of the main reasons why it was with us as well as this service so we get everything back together then we just plug in the di2 if it's if a bike is di2 equipped we always do a firmware check so we run through and you can see here we've got a rear derailleur firmware update both shifters have a firmware update the battery itself has a firmware update so we run them through as an update we don't charge extra for this on a service if a customer's having a bike in for service i like to present the bike as i would want to present it to myself so we just update everything we actually left this plugged in as well to charge up the battery so it goes out fully firmware updated fully charged battery everything cleaned and lubricated so we just give the little pivot points on the derailleurs themselves a little lubrication wipe that down afterwards with a microfiber towel just to get the residue and access off but we know that the pivot points are clean and then we're just oiling up the chain i use a very thin liquid oil i've got the microfiber towel rolling along the bottom so that actually rolls the rollers as i'm lubricating them so as you actually get right inside those rollers and then we start going around with the torque wrench and even this it's amazing the difference we made to this bike we, we found a couple of little fittings that were loose also the the seat post mount just here which is nicely tucked under that crossbar there that was loose where obviously the saddle had been raised at some point and then these bolts on the chain ring were all loose so you know the derosa would have put this bike together those parts would have come in from shimano never talked up correctly and they were loose which again you know can create issues moving down the line so just a simple regular breeze through with a torque wrench on a bike like this and what a difference it can make I love this bike, it had a couple of nice details on it which I was quite impressed with. One was the seat post stay bolt tucked under that cross tube, that, that, was, that was a nice detail on this bike. And the other was that the cables and DO2 cables and the brake hoses that were integrated in the stem, the stem had a lovely three flow which you don't get on a lot of integrators, a lot of them will only turn sort of 45 degrees but this was a lovely free steering for such a system. So this was a lovely bike so you can see what a difference we've made here. So thanks for watching, do like, subscribe and comment and we will see you again next week. Bye for now.